Yo, what's going on guys? It's JT Judgment here. I hope you're doing well wherever you are in the world watching this video and today welcome back to the channel for a pretty big legend review guys. We have got the 91 rated Dutch striker Marco Van Basten but before I get into it guys I need to give a massive shout out guys. Say a massive thank you to the boy that was nice enough to let me use his account. As always links will be found in the description below this video. If you head on over to his account guys showed some support. Uh, I'd really appreciate it guys. Say a massive thank you from me and yourselves guys that would be awesome I'd really really appreciate it also if any of you guys are looking to pick up some MSP some PSN codes or if you're looking to pick up some cheap PC games then I will leave a link to cdkeys.com guys I really really do recommend checking them out and um, they're awesome over there like I said I'll leave a link in the description down below for you guys to check those guys out so guys stats wise with Marco Van Basten you're buying a 91 rated striker so he's one of the highest rated guys which is kind of crazy uh, 91 rated striker, 83 pace, 81 on the dribbling, 94 shooting is definitely going to be the biggest selling point with this card. 34 defending, nobody really cares about, obviously because he's a striker. Uh, 73 on the passing and 73, uh, 70 on the physical, sorry. I decided to use him uh, in the Hawk chemistry style, which obviously boosts pace, shooting and physical. So it boosts him up from 83 pace to 93 pace, 94 shooting to 98 shooting and 70 physical to 75 physical but I want to ask you guys a question do you feel that chemistry styles actually boost the stats in game because whenever I use players with a chemistry style they I just don't feel any difference you know I'm using players for example in the sniper chemistry style and I feel hardly any difference to the players uh, dribbling especially but hardly any difference uh, to the players shooting as well so just a quick comment on that guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below. So guys, Marco Van Basten, he's got some pretty insane in-game stats as well. 88 on the composure, 94 on the attack position, and 93 on the reactions as well as 88 on the jumping, 97 on the finishing as well as 97 on the shot power, 90 head and accuracy, and 85 on the long shots to name a few of the best that you will find when it comes to his in-game stats. Now when it comes to Marco Van Basten in FIFA 17 Ultimate Team, I've got to come back to you and say that unfortunately I didn't like him you know from start to finish guys he really underperformed for me he did not feel like a 91 rated legend with the stats uh, that he does have starting off with his pace guys his pace is actually something that I didn't mind too much with this card he's got 83 pace uh, obviously on the card he wasn't fast he wasn't slow he was sort of in between and I'm personally someone that likes the fast strikers uh, so he didn't exactly suit my style of play obviously uh, but he's definitely not slow slow enough for me to consider it uh, you know a really bad weakness or anything like that as for his other positives guys the only ones that I do need to mention his aerial ability for me was pretty fantastic now he is six foot two with 88 on the jump in and 90 on the head in accuracy so when you've got a player with those stats guys I think it's a given it's pretty obvious or at least it should be anyway uh, that in game he is going to be pretty fantastic in the air so if you are somebody that likes to run down the wing and cross into the box constantly then that box is definitely ticked with the 91 rated legend Marco Van Basten and the last positive that I did find unfortunately the last positive guys I wish I could come back to you and say that I did like more with this card uh, but unfortunately he really did underperform for me and that is his finesse shots now when it comes to shooting from outside the box when I have a player with 94 shooting on the card 85 long shots and 87 on the shot power I expect them to be one of the best in the game when it comes to shooting in general you know not just outside the box and in or inside the box or finessing just everything you know and unfortunately the only aspect of Marco Van Basten shooting for me that was good was his finesse shots you know and it was a massive disappointment because like I just said you know I wanted his shooting to be fantastic for me all round but the only aspect of his shooting for me like I said uh, was his finesse shot so if you do decide to buy Marco Van Basten for your team definitely whenever you you get the chance to shoot with him I highly recommend that you try finessing with this card as much as possible and as for the weaknesses guys pretty much everything else his strength for me really wasn't the greatest he's got decent stats in game guys and for a tall player I expected him to be semi decent in the strength area but he was easily and I mean really really easily bullied off the ball pretty much every single time a defender uh, you know tried to take the ball off him and if you guys are avid ultimate team players you 
you play the game a lot, you pretty much know that you're going to be coming up against your, you know, your Chris Smallins, your Boatengs, your Ramoses, pretty much on a constant basis. And those are the sort of centre backs that will easily bully Van Basten off the ball without a shadow of a doubt, guys. So strength is definitely something that is not a very, very good thing with this card. His positioning for me was pretty terrible as well. Now he is a player with medium, medium work rates, guys, which isn't the worst work rates to have for a striker, but it's definitely not the best as well. And he also has a 94 attack positioning stat in game, which does lead me to believe that he should be in the position, you know, pretty much all the time uh, in game, especially after seeing that 94 attack positioning stat. But for me, guys, he just didn't want to make runs on his own and his positioning, he was just, it seemed he was too defensive in game. You know, he was, he wasn't pushing far enough up the field, regardless of the, uh, you know, the player instructions and stuff that I did set for him. He just seemed like, I guess I could say a very lazy player, you know, a very lazy player. I had to pass the ball to him, do an LBA pass um, with Van Basten to then make him do the run after making the pass, you know, just doing that constantly uh, with Van Basten. It just seemed like a chore, you know, in his positioning from a game to game basis after him not making runs. It just got really, really frustrating, you know, especially adding to the fact that he is one of the highest rated legends you can buy, should be one of the best strikers in the game. And just to see that for me, guys, it was just a massive disappointment, you know? His dribbling and ball control for me was pretty bad as well, guys. He just kept constantly losing the ball from a bad touch, just turning with him, his agility. It was, it was just really bad, you know? He just turned on the ball very, very, very slowly, and it was just horrible, guys. So 81 dribbling on the card, is it, it was wrong for me. He felt a lot worse than that. His passing for me was terrible as well. He just kept constantly giving the ball away. I pressed the pass to a certain player and a certain direction, and he just wouldn't put the in enough power. He wouldn't put the right amount of power that I pressed for, kept giving the ball away, and it was just really, really frustrating, guys. His weak foot for me was terrible as well well now he does have three star skills and three star weak foot now i've always said it guys when it comes down to skill moves it's personal preference there if you're a skiller then obviously you're going to keep in mind uh, the amount of skills that a player has but if you're like me then three star skills is okay because you're not really that much of a skiller but pretty much guys all i do is use ball rolls and step overs and the occasional roulette so three star skills it's okay for me you know but and now guys we come down to what is probably the most frustrating thing guys about this card and that is his stamina he's got 64 that's right guys 64 stamina in game he just my oh my god by half time he was useless you know he was so low on stamina he felt slow on the ball they just made it worse to use in game you know his stamina really really does run down very very quickly so to sum things up guys Marco Van Basten is a massive waste of coins in FIFA 17 ultimate team in my personal opinion so that right there guys gonna wrap up this review please let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below drop a like if you did enjoy subscribe today for more to come soon and as always guys most importantly please take care and i will see you all next time ta-da guys